Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk about the new enchantments that we got with the Howling Peaks DLC. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. And the first one is Life Boost. This enchantment increases your maximum health whenever you or your whole group died. Per death you can get up to a 33% bonus maximum health, so on your last chance you will have double the health that you normally had. For players who are trying to get through Apocalypse Plus for the first time this enchantment might be useful, but I don't think it will be useful for optimized builds. The second enchantment is the Lucky Explorer, and it spawns emeralds while walking. It seems like there is a certain chance whenever you walk over a block the first time that you spawn some emeralds. When we spoke about the emerald shield in one of the data mine videos before, I said that this enchantment won't be reliable enough to keep the shield up. And as you can see from the test, this stays true. Also, while we are at it, I want to quickly mention that the emerald shield is, as I correctly predicted, only available as a fixed enchantment on a certain armor. The next one is multi-roll and this enchantment basically just adds multiple charges to your normal dodge roll. As each of these charges have their own cooldown but they have to recharge one by one, I doubt the usefulness of this enchantment, but maybe I can see some potential for this in a rolling build, but I don't know yet. The next one is death barter and it uses 50 emeralds to prevent your death once. Now with the changes to emerald drops, 50 emeralds are quickly collected and can save your life easily. Again, I doubt its usefulness in optimized builds, but for your first steps in Apocalypse Plus this might be helpful. And the next one is the Illager's Bane and it increases your damage against Illagers, just like Smite does against Undeads. To make it short, I don't think it's useful. And finally the last one, Roll Charge. The effect is pretty simple, for 3 seconds after rolling all bow shots are charge shots. And I think there could be some potential with bows like the Mechanical Short Bow or Winter's Touch here, but I don't know if it's worth the sacrificed enchantment slot. But as soon as I find a broken combination, I'll make sure to let you guys know. So that is all for this video. As always, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!